Hello Classic Crew and welcome to today's video where we're going to be doing the Classic Girls Guide to Shoes. We all love shoes, right? I'm not the only one. I mean, I know that my girlfriends also love shoes, so I know I'm not the only one, but I've got to know who else loves shoes as much as I do because shoes are the best. They're so much fun. They're so cool. They come in all the different styles. You can get ones that are fancy, ones that are casual, and it doesn't matter if your weight fluctuates, your shoe size pretty much stays the same. And that is a wonderful thing. And I just love shoes. I mean, they completely change the look of an outfit. They can take your look from good to great. They can also obviously do the opposite. And so I just absolutely love curating my shoe collection. I think having a good shoe collection really can influence how your entire closet looks. Cause if you have beautiful clothes, but not great shoes, your outfits are not going to look great. Your clothes aren't going to look expensive. Even if they're not expensive, they're not going to look classic. They're not going to look good quality. But if you wear good shoes, it'll really make the difference for what you're actually trying to look like. And so having the right shoes in your closet to choose from will make all the difference as you're trying to look and dress like a classic woman. And I'm really excited to share with you guys the different kinds of shoes I think you should have in your closet. Now, do you need to have every single thing that I talk about? Absolutely not. Pare down to what you really need and don't feel pressured by what I'm talking about, but I'm kind of giving you the overview of all of the different shoes that you could own to really have like a complete shoe collection. And as somebody who really loves shoes, I really like having different options to choose from. Now, one of the other things I'll say is I don't spend a lot of money on shoes. So I can have more pairs that are less expensive as opposed to having a few pairs that are very, very expensive. I usually shop in the sales section. I usually shop at DSW or TJ Maxx or something like that. So I'm not spending a ton of money on a ton of pairs. It's more like I have a lot of shoes, but they're not very pricey. So that's my kind of compromise so that I can have more selection in my own closet, but I don't feel like I've spent a ton of money on it. But it's really important to find your balance, figure out what works for you. And I hope today's video will give you some insight into the shoes that you can add to your collection so that you really do feel like you have that perfect shoe selection when you are trying to make an outfit. So let's get into it. So the first thing I want to talk about just because of the season is boots. We're in fall, so everybody needs a few pairs of boots. And it's really important that you do have at least one pair of boots, right? You should have at least one to get you through the colder months. Now, I recommend having at least two pairs of fall boots because you want to have ones that are going to work with a couple different kinds of outfits. You'll want a pair that hits at the calf or over the knee. I prefer at the calf. I think it's just a bit more classic than a pair that goes over the knee, but You'll definitely want a pair like that just because it is warmer and it goes really well with, you know, a pair of jeans or any kind of pants, really. That's going to be kind of ideal for that. And then you'll want a pair that are shorter that you can wear with dresses. So that can be an ankle boot, a short boot, a sock boot, anything that is going to be a little bit more flattering with a dress. Because if you're wearing a dress, wearing a knee high boot is really just not going to give your leg the, the best look for you. It's not going to make your calf look elongated. It will make it look shortened. So finding those two pairs that work for you will just make a really big difference. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is if possible, getting each of those pairs in a different color. So getting one in black and one in brown. Now you can decide which one is more useful to you. If you'd rather have your tall boot in brown and your short boot in black, just because if you're wearing the short boots with dresses, you might want that to be a little bit dressier. I actually flipped it. So I have my tall boots are black and my short boots are brown and that's what works for me. So I'm going to show you guys a few of my shoes so that you can get an idea of the kinds of shoes that I would recommend. So I recently purchased these on major sale at Kohl's. I think they were like $20 and they are not real leather, but they look great. I mean, I don't think that they need to be. And they are just a simple black riding boot. I think that these will go great with quite a few outfits of mine. And these can just be something that I'll have for forever. They're just a good staple and they'll just go with pretty much any outfit that is pants oriented. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of these with skirts, but with a pair of pants, these can look great. 
Now this is another pair of boots that I got for my birthday a couple of years ago. These are from Bandolino and they are a heeled boot which makes them dressier. Now the fact that these are heeled actually makes it possible for you to wear this with a longer skirt. With a midi skirt these would actually look really nice because they're going to elongate your leg just because of the heel. These happen to be very very comfortable so I can actually wear them to walk a little ways. Normally with a heeled boot, it's not that great, but these are pretty comfortable and that works for me. And these are my dressy boots because I have the two kind of less dressy ones, which the second one I'll show you, but the first one was that riding boot. These ones are dressy. So this kind of goes back to what I was saying before, which is if you're going to have those two pairs of boots, one that is a kind of calf length and one that is shorter, make one of them casual and one of them dressy, make one of them brown, make one of them black, that is kind of going to give you the variety you would need for all of the different outfits you wanna make. Now, the other pair of boots that I wanted to talk about are these. I got these at Target just a few days ago and I am obsessed with them. <laughs> First of all, they look so good. They look real. I can't believe these aren't real leather. It's It blows my mind and they feel like real leather too. They are so comfortable and they're so flattering. They can be worn with dresses, they can be worn with pants. They are just a really great staple to have in your closet. They're a little bit less dressy than my other two pairs of boots, but depending on the outfit, I think you could still get away with wearing these if they were a little bit fancier, but I just really love the way that these look. And with these three pairs of boots in my fall closet, I feel like I am set. I don't need any other pairs. And if I needed to get rid of one, I would probably get rid of my plain walking riding boot because then I would still have a dressy pair and a less dressy pair. Now while we're on the topic of boots, I did want to talk about winter boots. Those are very important to have as well because these are not going to cut it if you're living in a really snowy area and you're going to have to walk through snow drifts. So making sure you own a pair of snow boots, just ones that are warm, that have grip, that are comfortable, those are going to be really important. I just have a pair from Costco. They're not fancy, they just do what they need to do. They keep my feet warm and they are good enough for me to walk through the snow and that is what I needed them to do. They're not a fashion item, those are just an important item to own. <laughs> and the last pair of boots that every classic woman should own is a pair of rain boots. So I have these, again these are from Target, they're still being sold, these are great. So comfortable, so cute, really, really attractive on the foot. I really think having a pair of rain boots is important. For a long time, I just said, eh, I don't need them. I'll just wear whatever shoes I'm wearing. They'll get wet, they'll dry. It's not a great plan because generally those shoes don't tend to do very well in the rain and they don't last very long. And if you can find a pair of rain boots that aren't super heavy, that don't make it clunky when you're walking around, these are a great pair for that. They're a Chelsea boot, which means they're a little bit shorter and they're not going to be kind of creating that really annoying situation where you're indoors all day in a pair of rain boots. <laughs> These don't feel like you're wearing rain boots. So if you're just walking around your office or whatever, you're still gonna look cute. You don't have to bring a change of shoes really. And they do what they need to do when you're out in the rain. So finding a pair of rain boots that works for you, that isn't something that you have to change in and out of if possible, is just going to make walking in the rain so much better. So now let's move on to heels. I do think it's important for women to own at least two pairs of heels. I think that they need to be comfortable first and foremost. If they're not comfortable, you will not wear them. So it doesn't matter how much you love the pattern. It doesn't matter how much you think they're adorable or beautiful or they make your legs look amazing. If they are not comfortable, if you can't walk in them, you will not wear them, number one. And number two, you're not gonna look classic if you're stumbling down the street in a pair of shoes you can't walk in. So <laughs> don't ever buy a pair of heels just because of the way they look. You have to buy a pair of heels that are comfortable and they do exist. I know from experience, I have quite a few pairs of heels that really are comfortable. Now, can I wear them for hours and hours on end? Probably not, but I can definitely wear them long enough that it's totally fine and I'm okay by the end of the night. You know, it just is about choosing a pair that really does work for your feet. So when it comes to heels, the absolute necessities that you need to own are a pair of black heels and a pair of nude heels. Those two things, if you have just those two things, you're set. You're really done. You don't need more than that. Those two should inform your entire closet because nude goes with everything and black goes with a lot. 
and you can really just use those two pairs and you'll be totally set. Now I have a pair of strappy nude heels, which I prefer to a kind of rounded toe heel, which I used to own. If I'm going to wear a pair of nude heels that are not strappy, I would want them to be pointed. This is just a general rule when it comes to heels. I think that wearing pointed heels as opposed to a round toe is more flattering. It elongates your leg more and it just is something that is going to make you look more attractive. So that's another piece of advice that I would have is when you're purchasing heels, for the most part, find a pair that is actually pointy. And I know that I grew up thinking that looked a little bit witchy, but now that I am a grown woman, I realize that it does make your leg look quite attractive when it is an elongated point. So nude and black are the first place to start. I'll show you guys what I have. So these are my black heels. Again, you can see it's not a very tall heel at all. I just think these are lovely. They're very professional looking, but they do have that hint of something different with this Lucite heel, which I think is really cool. Very comfortable. I can walk around in these for hours. They'll look great with a more professional outfit, which I really love. And these are just the kind of heels that are going to be really classic and are gonna last you for years. So these are a pair that I really like. These might be a little bit more on the professional side, but I really enjoy them and I think they're really important to own. Now my nude heels look like this. They are just a simple strappy nude. I actually wore these to a wedding and I was helping the bride as she was getting her photos taken up in the mountains and uh, we got bit by fire ants. So that was a ton of fun, but <laughs> these shoes survived, so that maybe tells you something. They are really comfortable, they go with everything, and they're just really nice to have in my closet. So I really enjoy this pair of shoes. Now continuing with heels, I think it's a nice thing to have two extra pairs of heels. You don't have to have these. If you're someone who doesn't like heels, then ignore this part of the video. But if you're somebody who loves heels, like me, then maybe you'll appreciate this. So I like the idea of having two pairs of kind of statement heels that one is for summer and one is more for winter. And with statement heels, you wanna get a pair that you can almost wear like a neutral, but they have something special about them that's a little bit different, as opposed to something that you can wear with like two outfits, that's just not useful. So finding a pair that really does kind of work with multiple things, but also is going to make you feel really cool and attractive and add something interesting to your outfit is going to be just a really classic addition to your shoe collection. So for me, my summer statement shoe is this pair, and these are incredibly comfortable, but the thing that I love about these is that they have this beautiful embroidery along the heel. I just think they're so pretty. They're black, so they really do go with quite a bit, but it does have this statement on the back that makes them stand out. And again, it's got that very flattering, just one strap here, one strap here. These are my favorite statement shoes for summer and for spring, and I just think they're beautiful. I love to wear these to a lot of different events, and this is an example of a shoe that spoke to me, was a statement shoe, was comfortable, and is a really good addition to my shoe wardrobe. Now, another pair of statement heels that I love and that goes with so much and is so perfect for spring and summer is this pair of shoes. I got these from BCBG a while back, but they are so comfortable and this pattern goes with so much. It's its own form of neutral and it's got the pointy toe, which I absolutely love. It's just a great shoe to have in the collection for me. It's a neutral, but it also has that really unique pattern, it's like a straw, and they're just incredibly comfortable. Now, this next pair is obviously going to be a statement shoe for me in the sense that it's a color that I don't necessarily need, but I love it, and it's navy, of course. Now, this isn't really a statement shoe. I would say this is even more like a neutral staple, but because you don't need navy in your closet, that sort of makes it something that is not necessary and that makes it a statement more. And it's again, this strappy thing with the higher heel. This really seems to work for my foot. It's very comfortable, but this one's a closed toe. So that's why it's appropriate for the fall and the winter. And I love these shoes so much. I wear them all the time. They're so comfortable and they really elongate the leg while adding a little bit of flair to my outfit. Now, again, is it that exciting? Maybe not for the average person, but for me, it's very exciting. It's navy. It's got suede on the front. It's got leather on the back. It's a dream. Next up, let's talk about sandals. So I think that it is nice to have two different kinds of sandals for your classic collection. Now, is it necessary to have two? 
not really, it's more up to you. And you can kind of overlap this with my heels section. So the first pair of sandals that you're definitely going to need is just a comfortable pair of flat sandals, right? That is just very important for summertime. Whatever works for your foot, that's what I recommend. Of course, you wanna get something that is just going to be more of a staple, that isn't going to go in and out with the trends, that is something that you can kind of keep in your closet and is comfortable, but also does have some fashion elements to it. I think that's important. But of course, number one is that in the summer, hopefully you'll be walking around a lot and you'll be wearing these sandals quite a bit. So get a pair that's comfortable. So for me, that is these pair of shoes. These are Franco Sarto and I, love these shoes. I bought them last year and I've had them for two years and I wore them all throughout the summer, both summers. So comfortable and nicer than a flip-flop, but it is still kind of that feel. It's easy to wear, it's easy to slide on, but it really does create a, a more a classic look and it looks good with quite a few different outfits. And these are just so incredibly comfortable, which I appreciate really, really appreciate a pair like these. So again, something like this, even something with a strap, whatever works and is comfortable for you, but is still kind of got that classic flair. So the other option for sandals is a pair of heeled sandals. Now you can definitely choose to make your heels, your statement heels, a heeled sandal that is comfortable to walk around in and that'll kind of fit the bill for both. It'll like slot in for each category or you can get the fancier statement summer heel and then get a heeled sandal, but they can overlap depending on your preference. These are my summer heels. They are beautiful. They're super feminine from TJ Maxx, but they're also really comfortable to walk around in and that to me was the number one priority. But I had a pair of shoes before this that were very comfortable to walk around in, had a little wedge, but they were really unattractive and that wasn't something I, I loved. I still will wear them occasionally if I'm doing a lot of walking in the summertime, but I was really looking for a pair of feminine classic sandaled heels. And this to me was the perfect fit. So that's why I say getting a pair of flat sandals and a pair of heeled sandals for the summertime so that you do have a little bit of variety in your shoe collection. Now let's talk about sneakers. So there are two kinds of sneakers that the average person can own. There's the pair that they wear to work out in, to run, to weight lift, all that kind of thing. And then there's the pair that they wear just because they're comfortable and they're cute and they can do errands and they can go for walks. And it's not like an active shoe, it's just a comfortable, easy tie-on shoe. And so I recommend at least having the first kind, at least having the active wear shoe. That's gonna be important, obviously, if you're somebody who wants to stay fit and go to the gym, that's going to be important. But what I recommend when you're choosing a shoe like that is of course comfort is number one. Numero uno. But if you want to look nicer and have other places that you feel comfortable wearing those shoes, choose a pair that you also like the look of. Don't just get a pair that, that is comfortable. So I found a pair from Target that work really well for me. I also love the way that they look. So these are them. I wore these all around Europe. I wanted to wear a shoe that I was not even worried about hurting me at all. And these were perfect. I walked miles and miles and miles in these, but I also really liked the way that they looked. I thought that they kind of narrowed my foot. They made my ankle look very lovely, but they were very comfortable. And I still work out in these consistently and they are my favorite pair of sneakers. So this is a pair of shoes that does double duty, right? I can wear it to the gym. I can also run errands. But if you're looking for a pair of tennis shoes in addition to that, that is kind of more fashion-y, but is comfortable. It's just not so much of like a Nike or like something that you would work out in. Then getting a pair of white shoes like this is going to look really cute with quite a few outfits. It's also going to make you look tanner, which is always nice. But wearing this actually, it's very in style right now to wear a shoe like this with a midi skirt. So going into fall, that would look really good with these. Uh, you can also wear these just with a pair of jeans and they're always going to look very flattering. So if you are looking for more diversity in your kind of comfortable shoe wardrobe, then having those two pairs would be a great fit for your closet. Now, when it comes to flats, there are a couple of different pads you can go. I am actually not gonna recommend that you own a pair of ballet flats. I know, I'm surprised at myself that I'm saying it, but that is because I have found in the last year, 
I have not worn one pair of ballet flats. I've either worn a pair of boots, or I've worn sandals, or I've worn sneakers, or I've worn loafers. And ballet flats, to me, they're like knockoff heels. Like, I'm wearing them because I would like to be wearing heels, but I'm not. So, if you're somebody who likes ballet flats, go for it, wear them. They are a good addition to your wardrobe and I'm not against it. They're just not something I think is absolutely necessary to your shoe wardrobe. If you want to have one pair, I think having one pair is always good, but it's not totally necessary. What I like are loafers. I like this pair of loafers that I got from, I don't even know. I think I got these at some store in New York and I just like them because they're simple, they're easy. I like that they kind of go with everything, but they're very comfortable, but they're not a sneaker. They're still a flat, they're just a loafer. And I think having a pair of loafers in your wardrobe is always a good idea because it's something comfortable. It's a little bit more dressy than just an athletic shoe and it still has that classic feel. So having a pair of loafers in your closet is definitely something that I would consider. Now, another thing that you should have in your shoe closet as a classic woman is a pair of slippers. I think having slippers is very important. My feet are cold in the mornings. I don't want to put them on a cold floor. So putting my feet in slippers in the morning is just the best feeling. I think it's a really nice thing to have. It's not something that you're wearing out. So it's not something that's technically in your wardrobe, but it is a shoe. So I think it's worth investing in a pair. Not investing, investing. I got these from Target. So I'm not saying they have to be expensive, but just having a pair of slippers to walk around the house in, it'll make you feel like you have a little luxury each day. So the last thing I wanna talk about is an alternate. It's a, another shoe that you don't need, but it's a nice thing to have in your closet, and that is a mule. So I have these, I've been wearing these nonstop throughout summer and into fall, I'm planning on wearing these. They're just really nice, you can slide them on. They're very flattering. They look good with pants and skirts. They're not something that you necessarily know you need until you have it. It's very fashion forward while also feeling very comfortable. Of course, get a pair that doesn't slide off your foot. These do not for me at all, so that's why I really enjoy them. But having a pair of mules in your closet is a nice addition. It gives you a little bit more variety and variety is the spice of life. But again, not necessary, just something that if you wanted to add something to your closet that was a little bit different, that's an option. So that was my classic girl's guide to shoes. Let me know in the comments if I forgot anything. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you think is a classic shoe that every girl needs? I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please subscribe to my channel and blog if you haven't already. Head over to my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook and follow me there. Hit that notification bell to get notified of all my new videos. Hit that like button. Please head over to classicallyabby.locals.com if you'd like to support my channel, see more of this content, and be part of our community. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!